Sweet Cereal Road Heritage Weekend, a weekend which me and many others look forward to every year. It is the only weekend at Sweet Cereal where two locomotives are running at one time on the three mile loop with track. It is the only weekend at Sweet Cereal with Coach 5 and the 18 WC flat car running. It is the only weekend at Sweet Cereal with the two engines double head. As you can see, it is something to look forward to every year. And on August 28th and 29th, we went to this event. But before that, we have to talk about this rail the railroad that inspired Sweet Cereal. Because, well, History. Why not? The railroad back then was known as the East Tennessee and Western North Carolina Railroad. The line was chartered in 1866 and completed in 1881, running from Johnson City, Tennessee to Hampton, Tennessee. The following year in 1882, the line was extended to Cranberry, North Carolina, and later the line was extended to Boone, North Carolina. But in 1940, major line slides closed the line to Boone. In 1950, the railway unfortunately closed, with scrapping beginning the following year. 9, 11, and 12 were put on sale, however. 9 and 11 went to Alaska and later scrapped out for a fire, while 12 went to Virginia and operated at a, a tourist railroad there. But it only lasted a couple of years, and soon Engine 12 was sold to Gene Audrey, who wanted to transport it to California for use in movies. But he figured out that it was too expensive, so he sold it to Grover C. Robbins Jr., who transported it to Blowing Rock and started what is now known as Tweetsie Railroad. It gets its name from the tweet tweet sound its whistle made when it echoed through the mountains. On July 4, 1957, the Wheatsy opened to the public with a one mile stretch of track. In the following years, the line was expanded to a three mile loop and later came Tweetsy's theme, the Wild West. The Wild West and Cowboys were very popular, so that's what the theme became a Wild West train ride. In 1960, Engine 190, the Yukon Queen, was purchased from the White Pass and Yukon Railroad to serve as a second engine. And since the park has continued to expand, but the train ride hasn't changed much from the simple Wild West theme Grover C. Robbins Jr. envisioned. Now enough talk, let's get to the trains. The morning was a usual hot August day, but the steam made it hotter. 12 ran off around the mountain with no passengers for some reason, also known as a dry run. Well, 190 coupled to the train. So that 190 pulled forward to the street.
Soon after, 1200 photo freight steamed in. Later at 11 o'clock, she steamed off.
The train has come to a safe and complete stop. And the train cars have finished rolling backwards.
At 6.30 p.m. a bunch of happy photographers set up on the photo train. This train would drop us off at two locations with two on flies each time.
<laughs> Count to four and you got long down on your way.
and thus concludes day one of PT World Heritage Weekend. I had a great time this Saturday, and I hope you've enjoyed watching thus far. Now, on to Sunday, August 29th. Sunday, the day of the doubleheader. As you see again, back up for the grand entrance. Then, the two engines pulled into town. They be migrated over to the hill to watch them depart. Now enjoy the runs for the day.
Android 25. The train is clear, Casey. We're dead. We're gonna. We are so dead. We're just Casey Jones is at the front. We're dead. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Mr. Conductor. Here we go. Please stay seated while the train is moving.
things out. You can see. to a safe and complete stop. And the train cars has finished rolling backwards.
Now, on the last double header for the day, the two engines double head together to the frontier route post, then turning the cowboy show, 12 and couples from the train, and runs light to the engine shop. Then she couples up to her train and rolls over to the departure location of the photo freight.
you've enjoyed this hour long video. Thanks for watching. Also, this video took a while to make, so if you could please hit the subscribe button and like the video, it would be much appreciated. Also, thanks to the train crew at Tweetsy for making this event possible. This event would not be possible without them. Also, go subscribe to my friends who I saw at this event. Some of their channels are very underrated, so if you could, subscribe to them and go watch their videos, that would be awesome. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. But until then, happy wheel fanning. See you all next time. Bye.